Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up PayHip Store. Before we start, hurry up and check out our digital purchases under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we start using or how do we set up our store in PayHip? Well, setting up our store here in PayHip is actually pretty easy. So first things first that you need to do here is you need to go to their official website, which is going to be payhip.com. Now, from their website, they might require you to verify that you're human just to make sure that you're actually human accessing their platform. Now, in this case, uh, you might be wondering, is PayHip here free? Well, the thing here is they actually have a pricing page here, which in this case, whenever you visit it, you'll be, you'll be able to see a different pricing for it. So as you can see, we have a plus and pro plan here, which is $29 and $99 accordingly. But they also have a zero or free plan that we could use here. But they actually take 5% transactions transaction fee. So they also include all features, unlimited products, and limited revenue. Now, in this case, if you get the plus here or $99 per month, they have the no transaction fee here and 2% transaction fee. So in this case, the only difference here is, for example, you're just getting started. You could actually use the platform for free, but they do take 5% uh, from the actual sale. So in this case, the, it is actually included as 5%. So for example, if you're like selling around uh $100 like resold an item around $100 they will be taking like $5 off that uh, specific a uh, specific sale now if you get a $2 transaction fee you they'll they'll only be I'll be getting like $2 from a $100 sale or if you get the pro plan here they will not or they will not be taking anything because there are no transaction fees so in this case we want to create our account here let's go ahead and get started for free it's up right here and from here, we want to create our account. So in this case, let's go provide our first name, last name, email address, as well as our password. Now it's going to say creating your store here, and we now need to enter our store name. So for example, I'm going to say this is going to be my shop. And from here, let's go and click on continue. Now it's going to say the following URL is going to be your shop. Let's go and click on get started selling. Now, from here, it might say username has already been taken, so you might change this. Like, for example, uh, I want to add a double S here, just click on start, get started selling. But once it's actually accepted, it should redirect you to this page here. Now, in this case, at the very bottom, it's going to say some store essentials. So you need to first add your first product, set up your checkout, and customize your store design. So to get more out of pay here, here, it is recommended that you do first the uh, bottom section here. So in this case, let's first add our first product. And from here, let's go and click on add a product. And once you've uh, clicked on it, you now need to choose what product tab you want to add. So there are going to be a bunch of things here like digital products, courses, membership, physical product, coaching service, or bundle. So for example, I want to create or use a digital product here. Now, we now need to upload our digital product. Let's go uh, click on upload product file here. And from here, let's go ahead and choose one of the uh, following. Let's go and choose download. And we want to actually uh, use one of them. So for example, I want to actually use one of like the, uh, the PDF file here. Let's go and click on open. And we want to say this is going to be a sample product, but obviously you could uh, add your own uh, product name here. And what is the price for this one? So for example, this is going to be around $10. And we want to change the currency here. So you can choose one of the following currencies. You have GBP, Euro, UAUD, BRL, CAD. But in this case, it is uh, recommended that you use USD here because USD is an, a widely accepted currency. So um, in this case, I'll be using USD here. And you also have the cover or Im cover for that actual product. You can go and click upload product image and basically use one of the images that you already have here. So you could actually use different platforms for this one if you want to, like for example, Canva to design your own uh, 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 cover photo for this one. But as an example, I'm just going to upload one of my photos here and it should be uploaded here. If you want to remove it or replace it, you go and click on remove. But for now, we are good for this one. And you can go ahead and add your description. So for example, this is a sample description. Now from here, the visibility. So you could choose either, uh, it is actually visible for everyone. Uh, invisible, so nobody can, uh, except you can visit, uh, be able to view it. And unlisted, only people who know the direct link can actually see it. So for now, I'm going to use uh, visible. 
Now, if you want to add advanced options here, like for example, this product is tax exempt, product is different variation, product is an ebook, and what of the uh whatnot, you can go ahead and specify that. Now, in this case, you can also hide that by clicking on it. But for now, let's go and click on add product. Now, it should be added into our store. As you can see, product added. So from here, let's go and click on show my product page here which in this case, it will actually show your own store here and the actual product that we have right now. So in this case, uh, what is the next thing you want to do here? So next is we want to start designing our store. So as you can see, add your first product is now done. Let's go and click customize store design. Let's go and click and customize design. Now, how do we actually uh, design it? Well, it's actually pretty easy here as you can see right now. So there, we actually have different pages here. So we have our contact page, we have our uh, product page here, we have our collection page, blog pages, our blog post pages. So in this case first is going to be all products section here, which is the collection page here. So as you can see right now, this is the home page for our website. So for example, the header here, whenever you click on the header, you will have the option to change a few things like the store logo if you want to change it. You also have the option to change the navigation links that you see here, like shop and contact. Now you also have the header settings, like for example, the header layout itself, the width, the vertical padding, the space between menu links if you want to. So as an example, maybe I want to update my navigation links. Let's go and choose this one. Like, let's go and click edit, edit navigation. Maybe I want to add a new one. Let's just say this is going to be a link to the following. Let's just say there's going to be uh, this link here. And from here, once we've added it, just click on the uh, link itself. And from here, open a new tab. And from here, let's go and add navigation link. As you can see at the top, it should be updated. And whenever we click on it, it should actually redirect us to that specific page where we actually added. Now, in this case, let's go and click on apply changes to apply changes here. And from here, let, we could go ahead and just go back into the previous page. In this case, you could choose whatever here. So maybe uh, I want to say, I want to actually uh, go back in here. So let's just go back. And from here, you also have the option to change the about me section here. So for example, if you want to update your image, let's go and replace this one, click on upload. And maybe I want to use one of the images that I have right now, but obviously again, you could choose or use whatever image you want. This is just an example. I'm going to use this one. And as you can see, it's now going to be updated. Let's go and click on choose this image. From here, you can choose the heading, the text itself you want to, uh, the advanced settings like the uh, show follow button, the social media icons, image shapes, about and styles here if you want. You can even delete this section if you want to. You can even change the uh, color scheme if you want to, like a dark section as you can see here. So if you are done with the changes, just click on save and it should be applied into your uh, web page. So remember to always click on the save button to save your changes, obviously, so that you won't lose any of the progress that you're doing right now. So when you actually go back in here, we actually have the footer option, which in this case, you should be able to change your footer, like the uh, font size, the payment icon, social icons as well, and whatnot. But the great thing about this one is you could actually add your own sections. So if you click on add section here, we will have the option to add like, galleries, uh, image with text, slideshows, image text, basic list. So in this case, maybe I want to add this one and choose this one. And it should now be added in here. So in this case, go and click on save changes, but obviously you could change a few things here, like the heading, the button text, and all of those customization. But for now, let's go and click on save changes. And it should now be saved. So let's go and go back. And as you can see right now, so if you want to move this around, like for example, I want to make it at the very top here, make it happen. So this is the first thing that you'll be seeing here instead of this one, instead of the product itself. So we now have a landing page here. So if you want to change a different page here, like for example, I want to go to my sub actual product look. This is what my product is going to look like. So if you want to add a different section, again, what we saw before, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to go to your contact page here, change a few things, your contact details, how uh, they will be able to contact you, you should be able to do it in here. So once you're all done with your changes, you can go and click on either preview or publish. So if you want to publish this, just click on publish. And as you can see, you can go and visit your store. And this is now your store. As you can see, editing the actual website here is actually pretty easy with how they actually set a pay hip here. 
So yeah, so that's how you set up your Pape store, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.